All right, in my last video, um, I didn't add this clip here um, to show you guys um, how I put the uh, wiring into the uh, um, tube that goes from the upper uh, grommet to the lower grommet. And um, the lower grommet over there. So uh, what I did was I cut a slit into the hose you know with a razor blade I slipped the wires through there and then I took the uh, wires into the lower uh, grommet and then I put the wires into the uh, on the, you know on top of the uh, headliner here and then ran the wires to the front um, then after I did that I put I uh, got some uh, silicone uh, sealer I seal I put a bead across the whole uh, cut that I did there then I took some um, zip ties and then I zip tied it also to keep it together so that should keep the moisture out of there um, in the instructions f with with the kit that you get uh, you can get it on the internet to, that, to the website I put it in the uh, uh, down there at the bottom um, their website the kit instructions said that, that the uh, grommets were over here so I don't know what car they used um, if they used a beetle or what, um, but here on a 2015, the uh, cables, wiring, and everything goes through these two grommets here and that holes. So, uh, if you guys were wondering, uh, okay, how do you do that uh, on this uh, second uh, part? Um, it's here, the clip. Yeah, I took the calipers apart um, as much as I could. I left the uh, um, calipers on the car because uh, disconnecting them uh, from the uh, brake lines, um, then you have to recalibrate the uh, computer in the car, and uh, I just don't uh, want to go to a Volkswagen and pay for them to recalibrate the brakes into the uh, computer so uh, I left them on the car but I was able to take some of it apart now on the other side I left it all together and um, I didn't like the way they came out so on the uh, driver's side I, I took this apart now in the rear, I left them on the on the car because uh, the parking brake is uh, connected to it, and I didn't want to mess around with the cabling and stuff, so I just left it. And that was a smaller caliber, so it was easier to paint. But on the front ones are they're kind of big, as you'll see. So uh, I left them there. What it looks like, and my new wheels are going to be five spoke, so you're going to be able to see most of the uh, caliper through the wheels. Uh. Anytime I ever bought a car, I never really kept it the way. It came. I always like to make uh, my cars my own. I do my own thing to them. Move the back wheels on already. Got myself some new wheels and uh, when you get aftermarket wheels, the uh, center caps from the uh, original wheels don't fit the uh, wheels, so um, I have to do some uh, finagling here to make the uh, caps, center caps from the old wheels to fit the new wheels. So um, I'll show you the, uh, the wheel and the cap.
So here's my new wheel. And uh, there's the center cap. So that has to be changed. Well, let's get over to the uh, workbench and I'll show you how I uh, made the I made the cap fit the new wheels. And I keep looking at the uh, viewfinder instead of looking at the uh, lens. Alright, I'll get used to it. That's what happens when I stop making videos for a while. Alright, so here we are at the bench. And I'm going to try to see if I can keep the camera um, in this position here for the whole uh, ordeal here. So alright, so here's the cap for, from the old uh, wheels. And here's the cap. Let's see where the logo. I guess this is the logo. I have no idea. Anyway, so what I have to do is, because this cap is too small for the hole that's in the wheel, I have to cut this section off here. So this, these clips here can clip right into this section here. So what I'm going to do now is go to the device and I'm going to start uh, cutting this off. I did a couple of them already so um, this plastic gets kind of hot as we're cutting. So, the little pieces coming off. Alright, so here I'm at the vise and uh, I can't take this and just put it in the jaws of the vise. The metal jaws will you know, damage the plastic. You can probably um, break off the uh, clips, the mounting clips. So the best bet is to take a couple pieces of two by fours, or anything that can fit in here. And then you take your piece and put it in here, and that way it'll hold it in place, and you don't have to use too much tightening of the uh, vise to hold it. Alright, so I have my little cutting tool here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just go right around the line here and cut this off. So here we go. plastic gets uh, hot, starts melting, so you can't stay in one place too long because then it like melts and then it adheres to itself again.
And you gotta go slow because the uh, all you do is just skip and jump out of there just once, and you can ruin it and start all over. And these suckers are twenty-five bucks a piece. All right, so now we got the cut here. Okay, so we got two pieces now. Don't need this anymore. So now what we gotta do now here is we gotta take all this off here so this can these clips can go inside here. Take off some of this melted plastic here. All right, so I put the uh, little sanding uh, attachment on here. So what I have to do now I have to sand this all off in this ring here. All right, so what I have to do is, uh, I'll get a close up here. I have to take it down all the way to, see where this little line is here. I gotta take it all the way down to there. So I can uh, put the uh, old uh, VW uh, cap into it. All right. So you can see, it's all nice and smooth here, and all that extra plastic that was around it, it's gone. So now all you do is take this, these little clips, and snap it in here. All right, so we're gonna Snap this back in here. There we have it. All the clips fit here perfectly. All I gotta do now is just slip it right back into the wheel. So, that's how you make your wheel caps, center caps fit new wheels.
Okay, there's a little ring back here. Locking snap ring. And it's got a little spring to it. You just pop out this one. Put the VW in. Step ring back in. We got it. Turn it down before we drop it. Tolerance is in here is really close with this key. I'm going to torque it uh, 104 foot pounds. This is a star pattern.
right, here's the uh, Volkswagen uh, center cap. It's on the uh, new wheel. You can see the caliper is really nice through it, and everything I did in the back there, I painted all the parts that were rusted up back there. So uh, here's the, uh, this is the driver's side front. And this is the uh, passenger side front. And here's the uh, passenger side rear. So I showed you how I uh, got the uh, VW cap to work on my new wheels. This is the third one, so I got one more to go. So, the only one more thing I got left to do with my car here is the back. I gotta put carpet down. I took the uh, rear seats out put them for my, so I can get uh, the Huskies in here, take them around. And uh, the back seat was too small and the dogs are too big, so I just took the back seats out. So, what I gotta do now is I made the uh, platform uh, to fill in the space where the uh, back seat was and then I'm gonna put carpet on here and then I'm done.